four and a half videos in one night. That's productive. That's productive. Yeah. Like, we didn't start until like 8.30. Yeah. What is up? Alex Schoenska with the Hollow Herald and today we've got an app preview. We're going to be going over a game called Astral Raiders. And this game has been developed by 11th Hour Studios and it's a pretty enjoyable, it's another kind of tower defense game. We're, we're starting to see a lot more of those which is exciting because every single one of them is different. And you're about to see why this one's different. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Let's go check it out. Alright, so um, we're, we're, we're currently scanning Eric's up in my grill right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're just scanning right now. Nice thing about this is that it scans super fast. Actually, when you're not recording. When you are recording, it scans super slow. But we're going to be playing over here more, so it uh, probably won't matter. This will work. This will work just fine. Play. There we go. Start. Come in. Can anyone hear me? This is Captain Atlas in need of immediate escape. <coughs> well, not my smoothest landing. Thanks for the help, friend. Great. Name Atlas, Atlas and I'm in trying to pick up the defensive my scanner turret. detects you. Now, click scrap my All right. So that thing I just clicked, that's like scrap metal. That's money. That's what you use for money. And uh, you, you can buy stuff with that. So uh, I'll just click on what he said here. Um, now place it near the ship. All right. So this is like a little turret, and I'll place it like right here. An asteroid. An asteroid. All right. So <clears throat> what uh, we got to do here? The difference between this game and all the others is that the turrets do not automatically activate. You have to go over here and go pew like that, and it will automatically fire at the closest target. See? And then it takes a little bit of time to recharge. Where are the space pirates at? Oh, there they are. So I'll just click on that again and go pew pew pew. But its aim sucks, so you have to take matters in your own hands and go ba 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 ba, which is actually a lot of fun. And then they drop scrap metal and you pick it up and can use it to buy other weapons. So I'll just can activate this, it fires, and then I'm just like a, almost like a, what's the game? Hollow, Robo Raid, it's like a Robo Raid kind of game meets Galaxy Defense. It's pretty cool. And there's a little bit of banter here. If you want to know bad enough, you can download the game and play it. So uh, you can keep buying stuff. Oh, so you just select the ship. Now let's 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 get a flamethrower. So you'll take it, you'll select it, and then you can kind of place it wherever you want, which is pretty cool. Um, but you can't forget to select it, which is a little bit frustrating every so often. That you have to select the turrets for them to work. But it's also really fun just to kind of play Robo Raid. You just walk around. Maybe. It's hard, too. you got to be a really good aim. Or maybe I just suck at video games. Yeah. Pick up my scrap. Yeah, because they're, they're fast. Ha! We got him. Alright, let's get another turret down. Because you can amass quite the defense as well. It's pretty cool. And if you get enough turrets and weapons placed, you don't really have to worry about uh, 
by even shooting things yourself because they do recharge pretty quickly. And there are a lot of different things. Flamethrower is pretty cool. Flamethrower is very effective. And uh, I suck at aiming. I cannot hit that thing to save my life. That thing will do it for me. Maybe. Come on. There's a little bit of an FOV issue. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe I'm just special. Power of post. Austin, edit this out. So, it's just kind of the same thing in between levels. There's a little bit of a story that goes on. And you can just hit next and skip it. And, you know, the game just gets gradually and gradually more and more difficult as, as you progress. And it's, it's really enjoyable. I like it. I think it's a very fun game. Mostly because not only can you use the turrets that you've placed, you can also shoot things, it's like a first person shooter, you know? Oh, it's like freaking out. What the heck? Oh, they're attacking me! Look at that! Those things were attacking me! I played this a little bit earlier before so I could like know what's going on. I'd never actually been attacked before. <laughs> that scared me. That's funny. Well, that's pretty dang cool. Attack! 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 So these things are like make a little shield. That's pretty cool. Oh jeez, there they are again. See my turrets actually protected me that time. You see that? These things come straight for me. Ha 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 ha. So this is kinda like Robo Raid meets Robo Raid meets Tower Defense. This is a very enjoyable game. But that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Is there anything else I should cover? Yeah, there's, there's pretty much everything. Uh, I actually haven't tried. Alright, the goal now is to die. Let's see what happens when we die. Gotta kill this guy first. That is not fair. He went underneath the floor. There we go. No. When it goes underneath the floor, it doesn't let me do that. Yes. Die, die, die. There we go. Alright, next. Alright, so let's just chill and die and see what happens. Oh. Even bigger and more batter animals or spaceships are coming down now. Attack, attack, attack. Oh crap. These things attack my stuff. That's very interesting. That's not very nice. It's actually really hard to die. I guess you have to be really, really patient to die in this game. Huh? Um, as far as I know, it, there's a few. Which isn't very... There's a lot. There are a lot of levels in this game. I, I, I have yet to... And I'm still seeing, like, this is like the third time I've played it, and I'm still seeing stuff that I've never seen again, or that I've never seen before. Oh, he's running away. That's very sly. Ah, I still got him, though. I think 
I think one thing he could do is make it a little bit more difficult. Because there's no difficulty. Alright, I'm gonna have to get closer to kill this guy. Oh, dude, he's like outside. Like, way the flipping heck outside. Oh, I got him. I'm only half dead over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have different uh, different units too, like the ships attack your ship, like the spaceships attack your little ship that you're trying to repair, and then like little claw thingies attack you, and then these little like robot thingies attack your- Alright, we're close. Close to dead. Close to dead. We're about to see what happens when we die. We've lost all our turrets. Actually, no, they're only disabled. Oh, this guy's about to get it. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now it'll make it take even longer. Stop. I command you to stop. Oh, the ship's gonna die. Boom! That one almost died. Alright, we're close. We're close. Close to death, guys. I just did something really stupid and killed one of the ships I wanted to kill me, though. We're close. I can feel it. I can feel it! So, uh, Eric, come here often? <laughs> One thing I don't like is that you can't see like the like any projectiles, but you hear explosions and your health goes down. It'd be pretty cool to see like what they're attacking you with, you know. Oh, we're close. This is it. That's it. We're done. Oh, game over. You have been defeated by the Astro Raiders. Well, we tried, guys. We done good though. So uh, let's uh, sit back down. Yeah, as there you. All right, guys, there you go. Astro Raiders. This game, I, I enjoyed. You know, I say that about all of them, but I, I, I still mean it. You know, I, I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. I also liked how they kind of incorporated a story. You know, it was a little bit, it was different. You know, you don't see too many, um, too many games for the Holland that actually have a story with dialogue and build up. It was pretty interesting and, and amusing. I, I really liked where they went with that. And it'd be really exciting to see more apps do something like that. Now, so let us know what you think, you know, if you would like, you know, games that have, like, more character development, you know, that took a little bit more time and just kind of got you involved. Like, like think Halo. I think 85% of the reason Halo is incredible is because you, like, care so much about the characters. So, I mean, um, imagine it, a Holland's game being as big as Halo one day. Opinions, comments, we, we love discussions, we love talking about it with you guys. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.